Well, a 59-year-old man has been charged with attempted murder, robbery and other offenses after a highly publicized home invasion in Ottawa. A Second World War veteran was tied up and robbed on Thursday. Police say the suspect posed as a city employee and then forced his way into the home of Ernest Cote, who was 101 years old. CBC's Ashley Burke is in Ottawa. She joins me now. So, Ashley, how has the victim, Ernest Cote, reacted to this news? Well, Ernest Cote said that he's madder than a wasp over this home invasion. This is a man who stormed the beaches of Normandy 70 years ago on D-Day, and when he was tied up and robbed on Thursday, he did not give out his PIN number after the robber took his... Uh, his debit card. Now, today, Cote said he's happy that there's been an arrest and he's thanking the public. Police were able to make this arrest because someone called in with a tip. They had released photos and videos of the suspect, and it was that phone call that led them to his house in East Ottawa last night at, at 9 o'clock where they made an arrest. I just got back and there was still a police car parked outside guarding the home. So, Ashley, how are uh, the neighbors reacting to all this? Well, I spoke to the next door neighbors. It's a couple who've lived there for decades. They said that Ian Bush, the accused, moved in about four years ago. They know him quite well. They were just speaking to him yesterday about his grandson in the driveway. They said he was smiling, always happy, and they cannot believe that he is accused of this crime. They say that it's making their stomachs churn and that they're sick to their stomach. Um, one of the, couple, the man of, in that couple, he's actually a veteran himself, and he said that this is unfathomable. Now, we know that Ian Bush works from home, and online he's self-described as an accomplished executive who runs a man management consulting firm out of his home. Now, Bush is scheduled to appear in court again on Monday. All right, Ashley, this is such an interesting story. has captured so many people's uh, interest. Thanks for bringing us the latest. We appreciate it. You're welcome. CBC's Ashley Burke in Ottawa.